Hey guys, my life is Beth here. Um, about six or seven weeks ago, I uploaded a video called Top 10 Swedish Girl Names, in my opinion. And then something strange happened. I said in the description, comment if your name's on it, or if your best friend name's on it. Or if your all-time least favourite name is on it. But I didn't get any comments. So at the time I thought, well, you know, I'm just... I've only start I, I I'd only started YouTube, so at the time I was thinking, well, okay, I'm just not very popular YouTuber yet. And then I mentioned in another video, um, that someone in the comments of this video asked, did we miss any names that are going to become popular? And I says, Imogen and Bria, more people need to hear them names. And I made a video on names as well. And then people in the comments of that video said, oh yeah, I watched your video. What kind of name was? whatever number it was, what kind of name was that, and oh no, my name wasn't on it, so I just thought, okay, this is weird, and I deleted my comment, and then all the replies deleted too, which I didn't mean for it to happen, so if your comment was on that video, that was my fault, and, um, but yeah, then I thought, the reason I didn't get much comments was because there wasn't enough variety, so I'm going to, um, just kind of start again, don't worry, I won't delete the video, but anyway, Setbacks and regrets. Um, so this is just the list of all that was on that video. Number one, nicest name was Natalie. Number two, Imogen. Number three, Pamela. Number four, Eliza. Number five, Evie. Number six, Sylvie. Number seven, Leah. Number eight, Zoe. Number nine, Courtney. And number ten, Darvla. That was the name. Those were all the names I put on that list. And 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 I don't want to change any of them because I still. Still, even after nearly two months, that is still, and they, they're still my favourite names. They're still in the same order that they should be. They're still my favourite names. So I, I'm not going to alter that. However, what I have done is I've added in some runners up. So number 11, Orla. Number 12, Bria. Number 13, Lily. Number 15, or 14, Thea. Number 15, Julie. Number 16, Jessica. Number 17, I wrote that twice. Uh, anyway, number 16, Hazel. 17, Sarah. 18, Tiffany. 19, Gemma. 20, Isla. 21, Moya. 22, Alicia. 23, Cassandra. 24, Sapphire. 25, Emmy. And, just before anyone said, highly commended, Heather. Interesting story about how I got the name Heather. You couldn't tell, I love writing stories. And one time, me and my friend had finished our work and we were just having free time. And I said to her, I'm going to write a story. I need a really trendy, cool, modern name besides Jessica. Now, to all the Jessicas watching this, yes, I do like your name, as you can see. The only reason I didn't want to use it was because I like it so much that I've already written two stories involving someone called Jessica. So I, just, I needed something a bit different. I still like the name. And she says, what about Heather? And... To be honest, before that, I didn't really like the name Heather. It just didn't, wasn't really my taste. It just didn't sound something about it. Just Heather. I didn't really like it. But then I, I thought, okay, it's a modern name. Other people like it. And I started writing the story using the name Heather. And by the time I was finished the story, I was in love with the name. I'd stopped. I'd stopped. Well, I never hated it. I just, I got to like it way, way more. And now it's actually made its way onto my list. And that's how I got the name Heather. And just on the subject of how much I like tight stories, I'll just let you know, I have never written a story on anyone called Natalie or Imogen or Eliza or Sylvie or Zoe or Courtney or Devla. But I've written a story on someone called Evie, a story on someone called Pamela, and I think I did a story on someone called Leah when I was little. And I've never did a story on Orla, Bria, Lily, Thea. I did a story on Julie and the name originally used to be Darcy and I'm not saying I don't like that name but in the story I was writing Julie was an explorer and it didn't sound right so I started, just went up and tipped Darcy and put it with Julie because it sounded more adventurous and I, like I said wrote stories about Jessica. I've never used the word Hazel, never used the word Sarah in a story. The name Tiffany has gone down as planned for my next story. I'm going to use it in future stories. Gemma, I've written countless stories on someone called Gemma. And that's about it. I have never written a story on Sapphire, Emmy, Cassandra, anything else. Only the other one's Heather. So just little fun facts. 
So now that there's a bit more variety, let, let me know out of curiosity, is your name on this list or would you consider using any of these names for your future kids? If you're anything like me, thinking, forget the here and now, think about the future. That, if you're anything like that, that's like what I'm like. Would you consider naming your kid any of these names? Has this helped anyone? Is your name on it or do you know anyone with any of these names or anything? Um, and I can tell that I am seconds away from running out of storage, so I'll see you in the next video. I plan to make another one later. Bye.